What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is DigiPolgd, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon, where we just made one and a half million dollars with a flight simulator for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh yeah, baby! In other news, Vina, the creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vina Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the Game Link from Nintendo. Well, we are about to see how our uh, Farmville will do on the game link. So let's finish up. Oh yeah, level ups all around. Give me a game report, please. Oh, that was for Tess Air. Okay, never mind. Give me a user rating. Oh, baby, yes, give me that 10, give me that 10! Oh, give me that 10! Yes! Oh, 3 out of 4! <gasps> oh, baby, that's it! Farmville is a hit! I felt it! This is the moneymaker right here! Perfect game, achievement unlocked, release a game with a clean score of 10. Rank 1. Awesome. Almost half a million games sold in the first two weeks. Three, in the first month. Half a million games sold. Oh my. The latest game by Chop Shop Dev has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 10, saying a masterpiece. If Chop Shop Dev continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan favorite. Well, let's hope so. Avina Gear has been released. Well, I don't care. I have a million dollar game right now. We just got word that Farmville, which was recently developed by Chop Shop Dev, has raked up. Over 500,000 in sales. If the game were a music record, it would have gold status. Oh yeah, baby. We wonder how, mon how many more it will sell. Hopefully a lot more. Farming and casual is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. Well, that is good to know. Will, will we make a million? We've just been bumped up first place. After two months, we are in second place. Congratulations, you've made a great name for yourself and have saved up a lot of capital. If you want to grow the company further, then moving into a new office is the next step. I found a perfect office situated in a technolo technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Yes, please. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. Let's do that. Let's uh, train ourselves into staff management. $6.2 million. $6.4 million in the bank. Oh my. Training complete. Let's see if we can hire someone. Let's uh, do... What? About half a million? In a uh, game demo? Let's get an all-rounder first. In two months, DG64 will be taken off the market. Well, I don't care. Farmville is now off the market. Sold 741,000 copies. Generating 5 million in sales. Isn't that lovely? Okay, let's see. Level 2. 140, 259, 200, 199. Yeah, well, the first one is a winner. The first one is a winner, winner, chicken dinner, or the last one. Let's go with the last one. Let's go with Edwin Watts. Medium games is researchable. Mr. Watts. You will get the staff welcome training because you are the newest party, the newest member to our party, our party of two. Oh, 
Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Govador, Govodor, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Govador failed to introduce a higher price alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early, early next year. Ah, rip. Let's uh, go make a new game. Let's see. Let's make a movies game. Let's make it a simulation. Right. Now let's make it a simulation. 40 PC or Chop Shop V1. The movies. Explanation point. 2D graphics V2, of course. What else? So this one is going up way there. Let's see if we can make another winner winner chicken dinner. Oh, I love another 5 million. G64 is no longer support. Dialogues none, level design and artificial intelligence needs to be higher. Yep. Well, that sounds about right. Well, Edwin, hurry up. We need you, buddy. World design, let's get that higher graphics and sound. Yeah, looks about right. Get them bugs out, boys. There we go. Finish. Let's make a couple of million, please. Release the game. Open world is researchable. Awesome. You. Generate game report. The movies. Ooh, a nine. Nice. I'll take a nine and an eight. And another eight. Another eight and another eight. Eight twenty-five. I'll take it. I'll take it any time. Research. Let's see. Let's see the target audience. We'll need that. Game report. Let's see. Movies and simulation is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. And from what is still new to the team, a few more games and the team will have higher potential. Well, good to know. Let's do some more research. And let's see. Open world. No, better user experience. That one has priority. For now, at least. Okay, research some more. Let's do a new topic. Let's do... Prison. Let's do prison. Why not? Okay, research. Level editor. Why not? We almost have six million in the bank. Let's uh, develop a new game. Big topic. We'll do prison. Prison. Adventure. For the Taz. Let's do for the Taz. Everyone. It's gonna be escape. Explanation point, because that seemed to be doing great. Wait, what? Uh, hold on. Game engine. Chop, chop, one. And go! Uh, it's an adventure, right? Let's do some more quests. I think I needed to put quests way up higher than that. Level design, artificial intelligence can go way down. Dialogs can go all the way up. Okay. The movie is now of the market. It sold 59,000 units, generating 419,000. 
World design, sound, graphics, let's do graphics low, world design high, sound a little lower, okay. And let's finish, let's hope this game does well. I have a hard head. Well, I actually do have a hard head, but I have a hard head in this game as well. But hey, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a try. 2D graphics and 3D graphics are available for research. Let's uh, do a research open world. Let's do game report. Oh, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. This is gonna be bad. Oh, seven. Seven's pretty good. I'll, I'll do a seven and a six. I'll do above five. Anything above five is good for now. Quirky, but good. That's something y'all always want to hear about your game. So, six and a half average. About good. Game report. Prison and Adventure is a great combination. Graphics seems to be quite important. Platform genre match is bad. Platform audience match is good. Ha. Huh. Good to know. Good to know. Open world is completed. Um. You know what? Let's do a new engine. Shop. Shop. A V2 engine. Better user, level editor, open world. Let's create the engine. Vina has announced that they, that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Vina Oasis comes with 16 bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Venus added the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Hmm. I'll stick with Nintendo and PC for now. When Sony hits the market, I'll switch over to Sony. Come on, guys, finish up. Finish up. Chop, chop, V2, please. Ooh, proposition. What do we have? Or you can do borrow some research. Yes, please. Decrypt message. Post apocalyptic has been researched. Well, that's good. Let's make a new game. Where is post-apocalyptic? There it is. Uh, Role-playing. For the PC. It's going to be mature. Engine V2. It's going to be fall uh, Fallout. It's one or two words. It's one word. Fallout. Fallout is gonna be a ding. Better user experience, yes please. Quests, we want that way up high. Gameplay, a little bit lower. Engine. Almost none. Today, the new game platform, Vena Oasis by Vena, has been released. Good to know. Did I just release a adult game on a Nintendo? That was stupid. Level editor goes in there. Level design is high. AI is high. Dialogues can go to the middle. If I did release a adult game to a Nintendo console, that's stupid. Open world sound can be low. Yeah, this looks about right. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter. Mature game. Yeah, I'll give an interview. We'll publish the interview next week. Awesome! 
Planet GG has recently published an interview with Chop Shop Dev. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted to at mature players. DigiPoggy, the owner and CEO of Chop Shop Dev, said, "We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and are we are willing to take the risk to give it to them." Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Well, so am I, buddy. So am I. Okay, finish up. Let's see how it does. Release. Simple cutscenes, better dialogues, okay. Generate game report for Fallout. Oh, it's on the PC. Great. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, yes, that's another 10. And a 9. And another 10. Yep, we got this in the pocket. We got this. That's another winner, ladies and gentlemen. That's another winner we have there. Almost 100,000 copies sold in the first week. We are in first place. Oh yeah. Fallout is a success. Fallout, the newest game by Chop Shop Dev, has caused a storm of good reviews and excited customers. Industry professionals say that, says, say that Fallout is one of these rare games. That will set a new quality standard for future games. It seems that Chop Shop Dev is really m has made gaming history with Fallout. Well done! Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Most apocalyptic and RPG is a great combination. Gameplay seems to be quite important. Platform genre match PC RPG good. Platform audience PC mature. Great! 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 And that's gonna be the end for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed, I had a blast, if you had to, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more Game Dev Tycoon, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye bye! <laughs>